All right, so I think this enforced row security level used to be a lab that was part of the PL300 track. And I think Microsoft has since removed it, but the instructions appear to be on the GitHub site. So I opened a previous lab and I still have that open. So I'm gonna try and see if it's doable in that session. Okay, in this lab, you'll try to create a many-to-many -many relationship between the salesperson table and the salesperson and the sales table. You will also enforce row-level security to ensure that a salesperson can only analyze sales data for their assigned regions. In this lab, you will learn how to configure many-to-many -many relationships and enforce row-level security. Lab story, this is number 10 on this list. Exercise one is to enforce row-level security. We'll see if we even have this available. We may not. The source materials, I mean. In this exercise, you enforce row-level security to ensure a salesperson can only ever see sales made in their assigned regions. Task one is get started. All right, set the environment up. I did have a previous lab open, so I won't do that. Okay, well, I do need, I do want to open, I wanna see if I'm able to navigate. Oh, I don't have PL300. Do not have a PL300, so I don't think I can navigate to that. No, I think that's it. That is it, because I just have DA9, DA100 to navigate to. Yeah. Do not have PL300 to navigate to. Not sure why, but I don't. Not sure I don't. And if I go down to File Explorer, D, and I only have DA100, and Labs, does it have? All right, well, it does have this under 12. So that could be worth trying. All right, let's try the starter. Yeah, all right, so we could try opening that. What if I just say open? Oh, I wonder if I can give myself more time. Probably not. Nope. Huh. Well, I don't have time to linger. I only have 55 minutes for left over from my previous lab. So this may get cut, cut off due to that. All right, so I opened it and I need to save it in the solutions folder. So no lingering for me. Oh, I run out of time, so I'll try file, save as. Okay, so I'll save that. Yeah, you can write over that. Okay. Task two, enforce row level security. In this task, you enforce row level security to ensure a salesperson can only see sales made in their assigned region. Switch to the data view. In the fields pane, select the salesperson performance table. In the fields pane, select the salesperson performance table. Review the data, noticing that Michael Blythe, employee key 281, has a UPN value of Michael Blythe at adventureworks.com. Recall that Michael Blythe is assigned to three sales regions, US Northeast, US Central, and US Southeast. I did not recall that, but I'll buy it. All right, He's employee, but I see Michael Blythe, employee key 281, and Michael hyphen Blythe at adventureworks.com email. Switch to report view. Report view. Go to modeling, security, manage roles. Let 
the manage roles window, click create in the box, replace the selected text with the name of the role, salespeople, and press, press enter. To create sales people. Enter. Enter the role salespeople, press enter. Roles salespeople. To assign a filter for the salesperson performance table, click the ellipsis character and then select add filter. Choose UPN. Yeah, UPN. In the table filter DAX expression box, modify the expression by replacing value with user principal name. I wonder if I can copy that and paste it. Nope. User Prim Call Name. Hopefully that's spelled correctly. Don't know. Let's check some instructions again. User principal name is a data analysis expression or DAX function that returns the name of the authenticated user. It means that the salesperson performance table will filter by the user principal name of the user by querying the model. Click save. To test the security role on the modeling ribbon from inside the security group, click view as. In the view as roles window, click the other user item. And then in the corresponding box, until enter Michael hyphen Bly that adventureworks.com. So on the modeling, let's see, view as, view as other user. We want Michael. E L Y T H E at adventure com. I wonder if Microsoft required retired this lab because it has so much spelling in it. Check the salespeople role. Oh, I didn't, I don't think I did that. Configuration results in the salespeople, results in using the salespeople role and impersonating the user with your Michael Bly's name. Click OK. I think I did that. Notice the yellow banner above the report page describing the test security context. Now viewing report as salespeople, comma Michael Blythe at adventure.com. Do I have both? Nope. I need to I want to change that and stop viewing, then view as. Other people, Michael, I'll try this again. Michael, D L Y T H E, at adventureworks.com. Both. All right, now I'm viewing as salespeople, comma, Michael Blythe at adventureworks.com. In the table visual, notice that the only salesperson that only the salesperson Michael Blythe is listed. Let's see, I'll have to adjust the view so I'll be able to see that because I cannot see that right now. I really can't, wow. Where am I supposed to be seeing that? Let's go to view and how about actual size? Okay. Now I can see that Michael Blythe is the only salesperson to stop testing at the right side of the yellow banner, click Stop Viewing. When the Power BI desktop file is published to the Power BI service, you'll need to complete a post-publication task to map security principles to the salespeople role. You won't do that in this lab. Okay. To delete the role on the modeling ribbon inside the security group, choose Manage Roles and then Delete. All right, so we'll go back and stop viewing. Go to modeling, 
and manage roles in the security group and click on salespeople and choose delete. And say yes, delete and close that. Okay, yes, delete, click save. Oh, I didn't click save. Did not click save. Let's try again. Let's check. All right, yeah. I'm going to click delete and then yes, delete. And I need to find the save button to click. Yes, okay. All right, task three is finish up. In this task, you will complete the lab. Save the Power BI desktop file. Wow, I think I can do that. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's it, I guess. Wow, that is the end of the instructions. So I guess that is done and it was possible to get that done in time. All right, I hope you found that brief lab to be interesting and thank you.